it just got a lot easier to build AI prompts in AI Builder. Now, if you go to the AI prompt section and add a new prompt, you'll see we have a brand new prompt library. We have the standard starter templates that we've had for a while to do things like summarize text, sentiment analysis, and things like that. But now we can click on this prompt library button and see a bunch more samples of different prompts that you can use. And some of these prompts might look familiar to you if you've looked at our prompt library that we have over on adoption.microsoft.com. So if you wanna get some quick ideas of what you can do with AI prompts, you can select one of these new templates from our prompt library, like this smart goal setting. This is about to be a brand new year, and that is the time where you start setting new goals. So you can use this prompt to help you with that. When I selected that prompt, it automatically filled it in here in the prompt window, and now I can fill out some additional details. I'll give this a name, so I'll call this goal setter. And when I selected that prompt, it automatically put in an input where I can pass in my different objectives that I wanna have for the new year. And if you haven't looked at AI prompts in a while, there have been some other updates. We can now quickly add new inputs by simply typing the forward slash, and now we'll have all of these options here to add a text input, and we can even support image and document inputs now and even grounded data from Dataverse. And if we look at the settings for this prompt, AI prompts now use the GPT-40 mini model by default. And if you click the dropdown, you can even choose the advanced GPT-40 model depending on your use case. So let's just tweak this sample prompt a little bit because I want to give it the vision board that I put together for the new year. So I'm just going to say, and this vision board, and we'll use our forward slash and we'll actually reference an image. Now, if we want to reference images, we do need to switch from the mini model to the 4.0 model. So that's what this message is letting us know. So I'll just click OK here and that will automatically switch that. So I'll give this input a name. So I'll call this vision board and we'll upload and we'll just add that input into our prompt. And in case you're curious, this is my vision board here. Now I can test this in line, but before I do that, I need to give it some sample data. I've already uploaded that image, but I need to give it some more information about my objectives and goals. So I got a few things here as far as goals and things I want to accomplish that I'll paste into the sample data. Now we're ready to test. So I'll click the test prompt button and see what it comes up with. All right, so now I have my SMART goals for the new year. Let's look at what it said. And SMART goals means it's specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. So for each of the things that I put in here in the sample data for my prompt or the things I want to accomplish, it gives me these SMART goals. And notice what it did here. So in my vision board, I had different things that I wanted to accomplish. So I wanted to have more fun. I wanted to work on relationships. And for the releasing an EP for my band goal that I had, it tied that back to relevance because it aligns with the fun and the relationship aspects of my vision board. So it's using that image that I pasted in. To make this achievable, it's suggesting that I have weekly practice sessions. And to make this measurable and time bound, it suggested that I release this by August. So we'll see if that happens, but it's a good goal. And I can keep going down through each of these and get all of this relevant SMART goals for all the things that I want to achieve, like growing my YouTube channel, which ties back to personal growth and fun of my vision board. And it even gives me a goal per month of how many subs I should get to be able to reach that goal by the end of the year. So this is a great prompt built right into AI Builder for you to use in the new prompt library to be able to start thinking about your New Year's goals. So I hope you check out some of these updates to AI Builder and the new prompt library built right in and give it a try. And if you do, let me know what you think.